Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed a bunch of Magnetors in Dragonblight, but we ran into one that was just a little bit too tough. So we're going to have to save that quest for later. And today we are in the northern parts of Dragonblight. Time is money, friend. Let's have a chat here with Zinc. There's money to be made, just like Pops always said. No better time for raking in the cash than a time of <laughs> war. Hello, help. hello. The Scourge to the south are digging up some ancient dragon thing. I could care less why they're doing it, but they're pulling cartloads of composite ore in the process. Go lift me a bunch of that ore. That stuff should yield a pretty penny for all the weapons the horde are crafting. Time is money, friend. If I can make a f new war machine, I know I can get a pretty penny for it over at the Wrathgate. Some of our previous iterations haven't been entirely stable, but my flying machine it would do the trick if I can just develop an effective bomb system for it. Shave dice. I've never seen you before. Are you new to the vice? Glad to have you. I could always use more hands. You get the materials, I'll finish my machine. Then we can sell it to those commander types and all go home rich. I actually have most of the primary components, so I just need some of the materials for the weapon itself. Narf said that jagged ice shards from those elementals to the north would make perfect shrapnel for my bombs. Go nab some, will ya? And then we got this guy here, What's Narf. Nozzle rust Keep defense. You mage, these undead south of us are being a constant nuisance to our work. Go clear them out, will ya? Have a good one. We're undead. Might as well clear out these undead first. I wonder what he means by that. All these scourge guys. He doesn't really look undead to me, but I guess to that goblin he is. I guess these waste diggers are considered undead. It's funny because the goblins like don't even know what the war is about. <laughs> That's why they call these guys undead. They don't even know who the scourge are. The only thing they're worried about is the coin. Wow, we got hit pretty hard there. Not too sure how we'll do here. I don't think we'll kill them in like one blizzard. Or even two. I might have to use a mana pot. Should be able to get him here. And this guy's gonna run. No, should get him down. There we go. Pretty good place for AoE farming. Supposedly, they're working on a, a hardcore server. I think people found, like, more code that was written for it. Which makes me wonder if we're going to have a Season of Mastery 2 soon. I was kind of hoping they would just add it to, you know, Classic Era. But I think hardcore servers only being around for seasons is a pretty good idea. Like a hardcore season would be pretty cool. And that is by far the most, like the thing that I'm most excited for in WoW at the moment. And also when ICC comes out, I'm excited for that. I think that's going to be like the best time. In Wrath of Lich King. And I am so behind on retail, I don't even know what's going on in, dra in dra Dragonflight. I should try to catch up on the lore for that game. I recently seen a video and it had like a character I've never seen before. 
and they were talking about like, it was like a video about him and I'm like who the heck is that I felt like I was really behind after seeing that I forget the character's name he looks like a dragon he has like a blue face golden eyes right, we just need two more now food buff. Oh, there's a composite ore we need. Nice. I wonder how much we get from this. Hopefully more than just one. Terrible timing for the duel to spawn right next to me. I only get one. I have a feeling some are going to come up pretty soon. Over for this taskmaster sees us. All right, so we're done with the ghouls. We'll try to loot all these guys in this composite ore after this, and then I think we just need to collect composite ore and we're done. This thing spawned pretty damn quick. I had to pull somebody. <laughs> Thought we were just about to get out of there. So there's a couple here. Try to clear this up. I think there's more than enough to uh, finish the quest. And did we not get the food buff? Yeah, we didn't get the food buff. I'll try to get that here. We didn't get it again. Damn it. I'm too impatient. I don't want to wait 10 seconds. And yeah, we get it right now. There we go. Sometimes I think, like, food buff, it should just be, like, 5 seconds. It shouldn't be 10. That doesn't really make much of a difference, but... I just think it would be better. There you go. 
there's it's a pretty good group of them here. One just got up. What the heck going ha happened there? Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't know he was going to die like that. Oh, man. That's what really, that really sucked. I think I'm not going to use... Like, you can put him on passive, but it's just... I don't know, it's, they're kind of annoying. These elementals. It's, it was my fault, though. I didn't pay attention to the elementals health. But that was that kind of caught me off guard there. I thought he was going to be okay. Like, having him on passive is alright, but eventually I'll have to, you know, get him to attack once we get control of everything. It's got to be a little bit more patient. That's one thing about Classic. It's a game where you have to be, like, patient with your pulls and stuff. It's like that with every class. That's usually, like, when you die in this game. Is when you're just, you know, impatient and you're trying to push the pace. You don't, you know, have an, like, you know, an attention to detail. It's a very simple game. Classic. Well, PvE, I'll say. Pretty damn simple. PvP can get a little complicated. Should be okay here. If they get a little close, though, we're dead. Grouped up a couple, but they got this Taskmaster coming. Kill him? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they all get grouped up here. This guy's coming solo. I think that's probably how I would die if I ever played a mage on like a hardcore run. Probably die trying to do like a an AoE pull. It's really tempting not to do AoE pulls. Sorry if when you're playing hardcore as a mage, you get so much XP. Of here, we'll see how this goes. Man, this one just spawned. Put him on defense up here. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I just spawned right there. <laughs> this is a good spot. If you can keep your health up and not, you know, mess up your pulls, the, they, they come back reasonably quick. So you could probably AoE farm here for quite a while. Just gotta watch out for the respawns. So you should probably pull them like out here. And then really you only have to worry about the taskmasters. Damn it, 
forgot to put him on passive. Can you attack anybody? Oh, we're getting rocked. Gotta watch out though. They're starting to spawn back again. go we got our compositor now we can head back and turn in these two quests we've got one more up here maybe we should do this we should get the ice shard cluster before we turn these in unless they give us some quests actually in here then we should probably turn them in and then pick up the new ones not too sure what happens after this hey how you doing oh yeah the undead Here's your coin, bugger off. Be good. <laughs> Already forgot about the quest he put sent us on. Right back. Did you get the ore? My carrier will be back shortly. We need to get this shipment out while the fight is still going. <laughs> Glad I ah, it's quite a load. Your back feeling alright? Alright, so it looks like there isn't any follow-ups. Crystalline Ice Elemental. Yeah, these guys are going to be so annoying for us. <laughs> Damn it. Here we go. Hyroblast. We'll just scorch our way out of this. If you do that every time, it shouldn't be too bad. Having Pyroblast really does help. Last time we fought Ice Elementals, I think all we had was like Fireball and Fire Blast and Scorch. I'll try using Fireball here instead. Yeah, it's, it might be a little bit better. We have two different dots on them. Getting kind of unlucky with these ice shard clusters. It's too bad. Look at these ice harpies, cold wind witches. I guess these are their nests. Oh, 
crap. At least we can use frost abilities against these guys. Good. Okay, just a patrol. Oh, looks like it. Well, then he went, goes back this way. <laughs> just our luck. Run out of mana, too. Oh, damn it. I was just about to put him in a deep freeze. Use a mana pot. is sneaky. It snuck right up on us. And we finally got another ice shirt. About damn time. And we can actually mine these uh, elementals. And they give us shards. Are you serious? I didn't know this. It's pretty cool. I wonder what else you get. I think it's mostly just junk. You know, these fragments. Oh, let's turn this one in, see what happens after this. There seems to be another quest down here called Slim Pickings. What's up? Be careful out Do you there. have the shards? I'm almost finished with the main refrigeration well, unit. Excellent. They are even sharper than I expected them to be. I'll pack them in the snow until the bomb is ready. Let's see what's next. Have a good one. I need some new packaging for the shrapnel bombs. All the stuff I have is too hard and shrapnel doesn't spread when it bursts. What we need is some really thin animal hide. Those Jormunger tunnelers to the west might work. Or perhaps the condors sifting through the dragon bones. Go get me whatever you can find. Keep it real. Okay. All oh, these Jormunger tunnelers? What the heck are these things? Kind of remind me of those bugs in uh, Western Blaglands. Those scarabs. I don't know what they call them. I don't think it's scarabs. Pretty sure. I wonder if I can group these guys up. Seem to be yeah, hostile, nice. There's another one. There we go.
There's another solid AoE pull. There's a lot of good AoE packs in uh, Dragon Blight. I bet you these Dragon Ball Dragon Bone Condors are pretty good as well. They're fast though, so if we don't have them slowed, then they're gonna catch us pretty damn quick. It's a lot better when I have this guy on passive. Makes it easier to control these mobs. And then just when I do this, I can put him on, you know, defensive and he can attack. Just gotta remember to put him on passive after. Two more to go. We're gonna get to fly the flying machine. Yeah, what do you want? Be good. How goes the hunt? Do you have my hides? Do ever need good, good. Anything. These should do fine. The shrapnel bombs are almost finished. Wait, what happened to my ice shards? Darf told me the shards from those elementals should be enchanted, but they're melting just like the ones hanging from Narf's grumpy chin. Be good. No, no, no. Those shards didn't work at all. They'll melt before they even do any damage. That's the last time I trust Narf. Arf's word on materials. This means we need something else entirely for the shrapnel. I know, I'm brilliant. Bone splinters. There are some bones all around here that the Jormungers have been gnawing on pretty thoroughly. Go check them out and see if you can find some splintered bone that I can use. Alright, so let's see. I think these are just on the ground. Yeah, let's just pick them up. This should be pretty quick. Are there any splinters to be found? Glad I could help. Excellent. That should be the last thing I need to test out the new bombs. Just a moment and I'll try this out. So what do we want here? Shoulders aren't too bad, but I think the trinket might be the best thing. 
I'll just take the trinket. See what see what it does. Keep it real. When you reach four thunder charges, it will release a firing it will release firing a lightning bolt for over a thousand damage. Thunder charge cannot be gained more often than once every two point five seconds. Right, so we'll put that uh it's right here. We'll just give it a try, see what happens. No, my machine, my bombs, that's it. The uh, his harpies are going down. You're not welcome in our home, the harpies said. Leave and go find other lands to pillage. Talk to Narf. Let's take care of those bird brains once and for all. Alright, guys. Well, looks like we opened up a new set of quests here. And I think we will deal with those next episode and we'll fight these harpies. Get them out of Dragon Blight. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.